What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Hickory Scuba and Marina. I'm going to show you a quick clip here and this is from a recent training session with one of our students where we had her in the pool and we was teaching her her mask removal and replace. Now if you've ever questioned why an instructor has to do what he does or makes you do certain things over and over, usually it's because of training standards and each training agency has their own training standards that the instructor must follow and that the students must meet or a minimum requirement to meet for that certification. Now anytime you get Train, there's usually three parts to your training, which is the academic portion, the confined water portion, and then the evaluation or checkout dive portion where we kind of bring everything together, we put you in a live scenario, and you must perform the skills. Now, here at Lake Hickory Scuba Center, we train through five different training agencies, one being SSI, Scuba Schools International. PADI, the Professional Association of Diving Instructors, PDIC, the Professional Diving Instructors Corporation, SEI, Scuba Educators International, and of course CMAS, or otherwise known as the Underwater Society of America. And each of these training agencies have their own training standards about how a student must perform a particular skill or how many times they must do it to pass for their certification. Now what you're going to see in a clip is the confined water or pool session of this young lady's open water class where we're doing the mask removal and replace. But we don't just jump right in there and make her take it off, put it on and clear it and go on. We do a stair step model teaching. So the first thing we do is a good thorough briefing of the skill and the value behind the skill. Why she needs to understand how to perform the skill and the importance behind it. We reiterate everything that we taught her in the academic portion of this particular skill. And then when we teach it, we're going to take it in slow stair step model. So instead of just taking the mask on, off, and clearing it, we're going to break it up into small little sessions. We're going to start with a partial flood and clear, then we're going to go to a complete flood and clear, and then we're going to go to a complete flood removal of the mask, replace of the mask, and then clear it. And then once she completes it, we'll have her repeat it one more time just to build up her confidence and to reiterate everything that we went over, and then we will pass her on that skill. Now, on her next training session, we'll actually take her into the deep end of the pool and make her do this skill while she's neutrally buoyant in that horizontal trimmed out position. That's just going to reiterate and bring more confidence into her that she's going to be a good, confident diver. But if you ever question why your instructor makes you do certain skills, ask to see the training standards that you're learning through or the training organization that you're learning through and he should show that to you so you understand why you must do what you do. So take a quick click or a real quick look at this video and I'll give you some final thoughts.
So guys, as you can see, we took our time with her, we gave her the briefing, we talked about the value of the skill, we allowed her times to practice, and then even after she completed skill, we had her repeat it one more time just to build up that confidence in her so that she knows she's a good, confident diver and that she really understands these skills. So if you got any questions on about how we teach or any uh, of the training agencies I mentioned or any of the training standards, please put it down in the comment section below and I'll try to answer your question as quickly as possible. Guys, as always, make sure to check back each week for new videos. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Pin us on Pinterest. Subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.